This is Comical Opinions. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a review of Van Helsing, Bonded by Blood from Xenoscope Entertainment. Uh, in this issue, Lisa Van Helsing has to team up with her bloodthirsty half-sister, daughter of Dracula, Charlotte, <laughs> to uncover the Western Raw Company's dark secrets. But before we start, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notification. Your thumbs up helps keep us going, and we'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, now let's get into it, uh, but let's cover the titles first. This is Van Helsing Bonded by Blood, written by pa Pat Shand, artwork by Hakan Aiden, colors by Grostietta, letters by Taylor Esposito, and the main cover is drawn by Igor Vitorino. Uh, now this story, even though there's no numbering on it, really takes place as a continuation of an ongoing Van Helsing arc. Uh, and the previous issue, which was Van Helsing, the syndicate, Julie Jekyll sort of took off because the infection that she had in her bloodstream is making her hide persona kill her from the inside out one cell at a time. So in effect, being Jekyll and Hyde is slowly uh, uh, acting like a terminal disease. For Julie Jekyll. And despite all their best efforts with Van Helsing's uh, ex scientific knowledge and medical experimentation, they could not find a cure. So rather than face death with her friends around her and trying to take care of her, Julie decided to go off on her own and find a cure, a cure by herself. Also in that issue, when uh, Lisa Van Helsing tried to track down Julie, she uh, happened across a cargo ship owned by the Western Rock Corporation. And in that cargo ship, she found a little girl who happened to be some sort of bioengineered genetic vampire hybrid with an unknown quantity of different types of powers, powers that allow her to basically decimate anybody who got in her way. Van Helsing formed a little bit of a bond with the girl and promised to try and help her. But before she could do that, the Western Raw um, security detail came in and snatched the girl away. And now we pick up with this issue. So in Van Helsing Bonded by Blood, Van Helsing breaks into the Western Rock Corporations first by going undercover, but that disguise doesn't last very long. And she quickly sets off an alarm, a set of alarms, and she's attacked by different kinds of vampire hybrid monsters and genetic beasts and all kinds of uh, disgusting creatures. Uh, when she eventually makes her way to the security offices with all the cameras and monitors up to find out where the little girl might be held, or Julie Jekyll, if she's there as well, she sees that the Western Art Corporation has held uh, has managed to capture Charlotte, who is Van Helsing's uh, half vampire, about half vampire, half sister, who is the daughter of Dracula. And so Van Helsing, out of pity or just a need to find information goes down to uh, free Charlotte to say, uh, I, I have the means to uh, destroy you, but first I need information is, you know, have you seen this little girl? Have you seen Julie Jekyll and what have you? Uh, Charlotte says she doesn't know anything about it, but she agrees to help Van Helsing uh, make her way through the Western Rod building because there's no way she could get through that entire building by herself with the, the little army of vampires coming down around her. Reluctantly, Liesl Van Helsing agrees, free Charlotte and the two of them team up. But their team up is contentious because Charlotte has no qualms about killing beasts and humans. Liesl has, Liesl has a very strict no killing humans policy and that continually puts them at odds, especially when they come up across, uh, come up against uh, humans who are working in the building who are despic despicable evil people and Charlotte mows them down. Liesl tries to stop her on more than one occasion and it turns into basically a, a very um, contentious partnership. Eventually uh, they find the little girl. Liesl tries to free the girl, but the girl sort of transforms and mutates in into this vampire beast demon. Charlotte comes to the rescue and kills the little girl which sends Van Helsing into a rage. You know, you killed the little girl I just came to rescue. But Charlotte has uh, some information that could be helpful, and she leads Van Helsing to another lab where they find that the little girl is not the only little girl. The little girl that Van Helsing is looking for is the one good copy of a whole lab full of clones that uh, didn't turn out right. 
And so they're all sort of grotesque, mutated monsters. And so now what we find out is that Charlotte killed a clone of the little girl Van Helsing was looking for, which doesn't make Liesl feel much better, but it's a step in the right direction. And the two of them, unfortunately, now have to lay waste to the this room full of mutated clone vampire demons after the lab tech set them free. And they have to figure out how to survive that particular room uh, before they can move on to uh, continue their search of Western Raw uh, Industries Research and Development Lab to find the little girl that they came to find and possibly Julie Jekyll as well. Uh, so that's a lot. Covered a lot of ground, but overall, this was a great issue. So, what do we think about Van Helsing, Bonded by Blood? Was it how, what do we like about it, or what do we think were the positives? The contentious relationship between Charlotte and Liesel is is dy- dynamic and interesting. It adds drama to the story that is already dramatic. Pat Shan does a great job of keeping the relationship um, tight and on edge. Uh, simply because of the nature of their history, even though Charlotte seems to have slightly turned over a new leaf, not no longer willing to just follow Dracula's bidding blindly. She sort of just wants to go off and do her own thing, uh, even if that means uh, following along with Liesl, uh, maybe not all necessarily obeying Liesl's rules about no killing humans, uh, but their their relationship is definitely toxic and damaged from the past. But now moving forward, there, there's an opportunity for uh, maybe to, to come to an uneasy alliance. And that makes for interesting storytelling, especially when they have to work together, playing by each one playing by their own rules as they have to cut their way through swaths of monsters and vampires and all kinds of mean, nasty characters in getting through the, the, the building. Uh, what didn't we like about Van Helsing bonded by blood. Uh, there's really no progress on either Julie Jekyll or the little girl as far as finding out where they are, what's happened to them, particularly what the little girl is all about. She so she is described as the one good experiment that that came out of what Western Raw is doing, but we still know nothing about her or or didn't even really get a good look at what her powers can do in the prior issue, Van Helsing the Syndicate. So. I was hoping to get a little bit more about that to understand what are the stakes. Is is there a good reason to go after this uh, little girl, or would they be better off just leaving well enough alone and, and finding out what and just letting the girl um, go? I mean, Van Helsing sort of following up on a promise to keep her safe, but is that a good idea or a bad idea? We don't know because we don't know anything about the little girl. So hoping we get a little bit more information about that. And uh, the, this uh, this issue feels sort of like an in between transition uh, issue that develops and manufactures an excuse for Charlotte and Lisa Van Helsing to get together, which is fine, but it didn't, not much else, not much else help, happens beyond that. Um, what about the art quality? Uh, ha- Haken Aiden's art is very good and even improving. One of the criticisms we've had of his art in the past is that faces tend to look very doll-like, especially through the eyes, and everyone seems to have just sort of this blank expression on their face. This issue is a little bit better. The eyes are a little bit more expressive. The emotional acting through the characters is good, not great, but good. So overall, Aiden's uh, acting expression is improving, but it's you still get a little bit, little bit of that blank stare uh, expression. And if you're going to be picky and you look at the character's eyes from one panel to the next, to the next, to the next, you see a lot of sameness. So the eyes are just have that same expression, which is where a lot of that emotion should be coming from. And so Aiden just kind of, I won't say copy paste, but you get a lot of sameness. And so the, the you get a sort of a, a doll-like or blank, almost a mannequin-like expression on faces, which is when you have uh, emotional uh, scenarios and situations coming up and a lot of you know, action and adventure and even horror going on, you don't want blank stares coming from your characters. That's not a good thing. It's better. This is definitely an improvement in this issue, but it still needs some work. So final thoughts. What do we think about Van Helsing Bonded by Blood uh, from Xenoscope? Uh, overall, it's an excellent issue. Lots of monster hunting, uh, lots of with monster hunting with a sci-fi twist. Uh, 
you have an unruly partnership which, between Charlotte and Leeds Van Helsing, which creates an interesting layer of drama. Uh, Charlotte is, seems to be choosing a new path for herself by getting out of her father's shadow, which is interesting character growth and has potential for future development. And the art is generally very good. So having said that, we're going to give Van Helsing Bonded by Blood a very solid 8.5 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this review. Before you leave, please like, share, comment, subscribe to Comical Opinions for more comic reviews and analysis every week. I'm Gabe Hernandez, your publisher in EIC. You have a great day.